Hello there, wizards and apprentices. My name is Yara the Wizard, and welcome to the first episode of City Limits. City Limits is a new series I'm starting. We are on a creative server right now, and the idea is I'm going to have people come in, and uh, we are going to be adding to the city bit by bit. I'm going to have guests come in and work on it with me, and while we do that, I'm going to interview them, and we're going to get to know them a little bit better. So each build is going to have a random prompt associated, and it's only going to take an hour to build, so we've got to do our best to stay focused. Uh, so in just a minute, we're going to have our first guest come here, and um, our first guest is my friend Adversary, or Rob, who I've known for a really long time and actually got me into Minecraft. Uh, so hopefully he has some really interesting things to tell us, and we're going we're gonna to be getting started in just a minute. Well, hello. Nice of you to <laughs> drop in. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, hello, Rob. Thank you so much Hi. for being on, uh, being my very first guest. Uh, the first thing I'm going to have you do is sign in in this book here. Uh, and then when you're done with that, uh, the very next thing is you're going to press this button that's right below your feet, and you are going to get your prompt theme thing. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. I've been looking at this little warped button. Um pretty much since I've entered the world, and uh -huh. I've been very tempted to push it. It's mysterious. Um, I have refrained from doing that, so now I'm All right, I'm now it is your turn. Yep, go ahead and push okay. it. Well, okay. It gave me a uh, piece of paper. Yes, flawless redstone. It says blue. Blue, that is your theme. So go ahead and destroy that. Mm. Um, okay. And then... Uh, you can take as much time uh, off camera and think of a new theme before the end of the episode and you're going to throw it in this barrel. So, um, now what we're going to do is uh, somewhere along this main street you get to pick the, the location. We're going to start a building um, with the theme blue. We don't have to necessarily use blue blocks. We can interpret the theme however you like and uh, how this works is you get as much off-screen prep time as you want, uh, and then we're not going to start the timer until you say so. So, got it. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and think about that, and viewers will be back with you in just a second. Okay, so we have some plans. We have some block palettes, and uh, all right, Rob, what do we got? We've got a circle. A circle. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have taken the prompt of blue, perhaps to its more obvious conclusion here, and I want to make an aquarium. Awesome. Um. So basically, I, I'm kind of basing this off of um, a, a feature from the Virginia Aquarium, right? I don't think this is unique to the Virginia Aquarium, but it's got a big tunnel that goes underwater and you could look at the cool, you know, stingrays and fish and whatnot that they have. Um, so this isn't gonna be a big build. Pretty much the whole aquarium is just gonna be that feature I just described, right? Mm -hmm. A arced tunnel full of water, and, uh, you know, throw some fish in there. You know, some tropical fish, puffer fish. Perfect. Cod, salmon. Those are the four <laughs> fish that exist in this. Oh, we could put squids in there? Yeah, we yeah, we, yeah, we could oh, do whatever we, could... we want. We could put a guardian. We could put, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, All that's right, the beauty of creative mode. So I want a little road leading up to it that kind of mirrors the, the tunnel sort of layout that I'll be working with. All right. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of what we're going for here. Perfect. All right, so if it's okay with you then, I will start the timer and then we'll get rolling. Very well. Okay. Okay, the timer has been set. Tell me what to do. Okay. Um I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and just start <laughs> just start building stuff. Okay, um, I guess I'll just follow you as best I can. Just try sure. to If you think of anything that needs uh, that needs doing. Let me know. Um, oh, what color do you want the overall cylinder to be? And then I can at least start with that. I'm thinking at least start with prismarine bricks. Okay. And then I can work on sort of like texturing and sure. stuff. I know you've been playing Minecraft for like a billion years because you've been telling me to play Minecraft for a billion years. So, yes. um, how long exactly have you been playing Minecraft? So, uh, sort of, I guess my history with Minecraft starts in kind of an interesting and shall I say unpleasant place, oh, right? No. Um, yeah, this is not something I'm, let's say, proud to admit, but there was a period of my life where I uh, uh, visited the website 4chan.com, right? <laughs> with some degree of frequency. Now that was in high school, so 
it's a bit of a defense there that I was a dumb teen, but it's a bad website and I don't recommend it. Okay. Anyway, back in like, gosh, what, 2011? I remember seeing a thread where somebody was like, hey, check out this like loser nerds public server. Let's all go on it and ruin it, right? Um, and I was like, okay, that's really mean, but also this game looks cool as heck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that was kind of my takeaway with this. I was like, okay, what they're doing is like super not cool, but like, what's this game? Man, if you've this told me this story, I've sweet. forgotten it. <laughs> I, I may not have. But that was literally my first sort of like realization that Minecraft is a game that existed in the world. Was oh, that wow. stupid post? Yeah. And then later on, I saw this video, uh, and I think this was like a popular point for a lot of people getting into Minecraft. Um, There's this video of this guy who was building a wood house and was trying to build a fireplace into it, mm -hmm. and he sets his entire house on fire. Oh, right. No. Yeah, and that was like, gosh, that's like classic. That was like one of the first Minecraft videos I think I ever saw. And again, I, I had the same thought where I saw that and I'm like, huh, this is a game where that sort of thing can happen. That's cool. Like, you know, just again, I had that thought that like, what's this Minecraft game? It seems cool, right? I mm -hmm. uh, still didn't know much about it. And then it wasn't until a decent bit of time later that a, a friend of mine, you know him, is Trevor. Oh, um, Trevor. Yeah, one day we were hanging out and he just, he was just like, Hey, have you guys heard of Minecraft? We should play it. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, let's do like, let's go. Like, <laughs> it, that's all, it, like, it just took the the slightest, like, little suggestion, little push. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're in. I want to play this game now. Let's go. What was the first thing that made you go, ooh, I want to play this game? Like, was it the building, the redstone? Yeah. So, like I said, it was watching that video of the guy who set his own house on fire that really sort of hooked me, right? Where I was like, oh, it's cool that this is a game where like stuff like that could happen that mm -hmm. have Ah, oh, so it was seemingly... the fire, I see. Yeah, that, I guess that would be the first thing. <laughs> but like, that's what got me to buy the game. And now here I am, what, a decade later? Like, clearly there's a little bit more to it than that, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, what would that be, I guess? Um... Listen, fire is as good a reason as any. Fire is pretty good. I mean, <laughs> it has sustained sort of our human civilization for a long time. And there's, I think that's worth something. Yeah. But no, I think there is more to it than that. I, I do remember uh, starting my own first like survival single player world, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like one thing I like very early got obsessed with for some reason were just like mine carts, right? I guess maybe it was the discovery aspect, right? I remember like, I, I played a bit of the game like without the wiki just tr trying out like different recipes and stuff to see mm -hmm. like what would work but then yeah like any minecraft player at a certain point i'm like okay this my own creativity can only take me so far here mm -hmm. and i had to go consult the wiki to figure out how to make everything i remember just going through and looking at like all of the stuff you can make and craft and whatnot and i'm like I'm like whoa you can make a compass that's wild like <laughs> You, you can make a, a map. That's crazy. Well, actually, I think when I started playing, maps didn't exist yet. So bad example. No, I, I get I you. Like, I yeah, actually I was... remember uh, a story specifically of you uh, telling me about piston elevators and trying to describe oh. to me how they worked. And I didn't know anything about Minecraft yet, so you were speaking gibberish to me. Um, yeah. But, but it, was, it was really interesting just, just, I don't know, just hearing about it, you know, without any context. Uh, oh, I was obsessed with pistons when they yeah. dropped. Yeah, like build for talk sure. real quick. Build talk. Yeah, um, what's good? I tried to do the diagonal thing from the picture you sent me. Is that looking? No, this is. That's good. That's great. That's pop. All right. I love this. And then you want? Um, do you want a layer of of glass in the same color as you're doing like uh like the picture? And then do white yeah. on the top like like it is. But yeah, point is pistons rock. Um, <laughs> I'm like. I, I, it was one of those things that like I was weirdly obsessed with them when they came out. Mm -hmm. um, I liked making piston doors, like you said, elevators. Um, I really liked making hidden doors in particular. Um, I, like, I don't know why, I guess just the idea of... It, it was, it's one of those things where like, I feel like before pistons, redstone was only capable of interacting with the world in a meaningful way so much, mm -hmm. you know? Like, pistons are one of the first things that's like, oh, okay, redstone can actually change the world in, like, meaningful and concrete ways. And it opened the door to a lot of different um, 
build possibilities, right? Mm -hmm. uh, mostly on a technical level. To your original question of sort of, you know, what actually kept me with the game, I, I guess it would just be the sense of Pistons. discovery. <laughs> yeah, <'cause>, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, if they didn't drop pistons when they did, I would have been out. <laughs> Do you remember the first thing that you ever built that you were really proud of? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Easy, right? Um, well, I remember building a little, like, castle in, like, a snowy biome, mm -hmm. right? And I remember it felt really cool because I could look out the, like, window mm -hmm. and see, um, and see, like, this frozen, you know, uh, ocean or lake or whatever. And I always thought that looked really cool. But I always knew that the actual castle itself looked pretty crummy, right? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until um, I had started my own server, right, um, with the same group of friends, um, and built this, like, I built another castle, but it was, like, embedded into a hillside, right? And we even had a giant, you know, tower um, that extended out of, like, the middle of the hill. Mm -hmm. um, it had, like, two big towers that, like, came out of the hill, and then a giant, like, front feature that was built into the side of the hill. And there's a bedroom that like cropped out of the hill and had like windows that overlooked it. And I just thought it looked so cool. <laughs> like that was, I think like the first thing that I made that I like really liked. So that's a great segue to the server, which is the next thing I was gonna ask about. Um, so tell me about the server. What influenced your decision to like start a server and go through all the, all the trouble? So I feel like with a lot of like sort of social stuff, I have this thought that like, okay, if I don't put this thing together, nobody else will, right? <laughs> so a, a lot of the times the, when I do these sorts of things, it's almost begrudging as <laughs> like stupid and like petty as that sounds. But um, I, I don't like resent that fact or anything. It's just kind of the way that I am. Mm. Um, but it, I guess there actually maybe is a bit more to it than that. Like I said, when we first started playing, a, a different friend of ours actually started a server, right? Um, and we had joined that one. Mm -hmm. um, but as is wont to happen with any group of individuals, there was a certain amount of drama, right? <laughs> and I like didn't really want to deal with that and wanted to get away with it. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I'm done here. I'm just gonna make my own thing. And, um, you know, bye. <laughs> so I did. And um, that was the first sort of iteration of it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm maybe filling up the water too quickly here. No, I probably no, no, should cool. figure I, out the rest I, of the Yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't know what else to do. So, so I just came in here and started planting plants, um, like I do best. If you want to let me know what kind of slabs you want at the top, or and what you want for the inner tube. Um, We've got to go with the domed ceiling, right? Dome. Okay. We've got to go dome. Um, but I'm wondering if maybe... I know the, the reference image I'm using doesn't have a dome. Mm -hmm. We can have a dome. Oh, you, you can know, do whatever you want. You know what? The reference image after the glass, it then has sort of a second layer with the sort of white concrete yeah. looking... Thing. Yeah, it was like, it's maybe, like, a, yeah, like you an know inner what? cylinder. Yeah, actually, maybe we could do just one more layer of verticality here. I think that would look pretty nice. Yeah, I think we should go one more layer. But Okay, do you like the... I, I just used this slab arbitrarily. We can change it out for a different slab if you want. No, that's good. We'll stick okay. with prismarine for now. Okay. Um, I want to do a different block. I'm good with the prismarine slabs for this trim on the top. We could right? bring in the whites if you want. We could bring in uh, diorite and iron, I think, look nice together. That's kind of where I'm leaning, right? Is towards the the white side of the palette. Okay, yeah, and then um, that'll, that'll bring in the tube, too. It'll uh, tie it together. It will bring in the tube, too. A server that's been around so long has history you know i know a little bit of it but can you tell me maybe like your one of your favorite moments in uh in server history remember the time jacob burnt his house down <gasps> what happened there's the time jacob burnt his house down yeah there's a big castle called a uh, castle beck right mm -hmm. um which is um where one of our players jacob wanted to live um it was far out. It was secluded from anybody else um, because that's kind of what he wanted to do. And um, yeah, I one day he had posted to our, at the time we had a Facebook page, um, the inside of his house just desecrated and burnt out um, because he had, I think he was trying to make, and this is a classic, a, a item garbage can, but a cactus trash can is a bit more uh, safe. Yeah. But um, 
Yeah, I think that's how he burnt it down. Oh no, and you had uh, fire spread on. <laughs> yes, and we still have fire spread on, which Do is you? maybe a mis. I didn't yeah. know that. Wow, I. That just... might be a misguided. We don't have lightning rods yet. Oof. <laughs> no. Yeah, any of your wood builds are liable to just evaporate overnight. That is correct. That's dangerous. All right. Yeah. Well... Good to know. Hasn't been, a <laughs> hasn't been a problem yet, except for this instance. So now we have some more uh, specifically Minecraft questions. Um, sure. Such as, what is your favorite block in Minecraft? My favorite block in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, honey block. Easy. Perfect. A perfect choice. <laughs> easy, easy. Look at this thing. How can oh, you not love yeah. it? Yeah, oh, and the sound of it. How could you not? The sound. Oh, and the instant the... mining, even with. Well, okay, now we're in creative world, but like in real life, just. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in real life. <laughs> in real life Minecraft. Which, speaking Honestly, of which, if we add in the yellow as a trim. That might not be bad. That's a good thought. Keep that in our back pocket. We might be just, yeah, back pocket, incorporate a bit of honey into this build. Mm -hmm. Um. How, just how could you not love the honey box? Oh, it's perfect. Right? No, the it's texture, a good choice. The transparent edges, the sound it makes. Um, I love the bee update. I love everything about bees. Now, for your least favorite block. What is your least favorite My block? My least favorite block. Now, that's an unfair fate, uh, an unfair question. It's like asking what my least favorite child is, you know? Um, which I do only have one child, and does my cat. Mm -hmm. But, um... Now we're just talking blocks here, not items or entities. Yeah, we're talking block okay. shaped blocks and you know, not going by the Minecraft rules where like a, a transparent block such as glass doesn't count as a full block. Anything that is cube shaped and it's fair game. Yeah, it's fair game. Okay. This actually, this might be a contentious answer. Alright. I think crying obsidian. Huh. I think crying obsidian, actually. Um, here's the thing, it, I love that it's in the game, mm -hmm. right, because it was added to the game, um, because it was a very long-standing unused feature, right? It was a block, from what I, if I understand my Crying Obsidian history correctly, it was a block that existed in the game for a long time, but went unused, right? Oh, and that gave yeah. it a sort of mystique. Yeah. yeah. I, I could be wrong about this, but I think that's It was that, just like the in the part. game files, but, you know, can't be accessed without commands or I, I something. Yeah, I believe it was one of those. You know, Mojang for 1.16, they're like, hey, we're doing this nether update. Let's bring back Crying Obsidian. Why not? This is yeah. the perfect time to do it. So I think that is cool. It, it's very cool. Texture just looks gross. I get you. Yeah, it has definitely very specific uses. Like I Yeah, for sure. I actually have not found a use for it yet, which actually I feel like is a challenge now. Now I feel like I, I want to. Also, can't mm -hmm. be used to make nether portals. Yeah, I was really upset when I yeah, learned right? that. What's yeah, up with that? that didn't make sense. It's obsidian, baby. Like, what's the problem? Yeah. Oh, just because yeah. it's a little sad? Yeah, like, <laughs> come on. How about your favorite mob? Hostile, non-hostile, any any critter. Got, gotta give it to the fox. That's a good choice. Fox gotta are, give it to the fox. They're so cute. Yeah. Never met any person who didn't think a Minecraft fox was cute. You in the comments think a Minecraft fox isn't cute? Keep it to yourself. I don't even yeah. want the engagement. Nope. Actually, tweet at Yara. Tweet at me. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I am, I feel like I am overlooking one important mob in the game. Is it the bee? It's the cat. Oh, it's the... Oh, geez, there's a lot. <laughs> I forgot about the bee for one blissful second. Oh, boy. I was even just talking about them earlier. But have That's you seen... Thought. Gosh, the Minecraft bee is so chubby and sweet. Oh, yeah, but Minecraft oh, cats but... are really good, too. That's really reasonable. There's a lot I of really, really good critters cats. in Minecraft. Let's be real. Okay. Like, Minecraft okay, is so good on, at critters. On my Mount Rushmore of Minecraft mobs, mm -hmm. we have the fox, the cat, the bee, and the oxalotl. We've come to the point in the night that you knew was coming. And that is yeah. the part where I ask you about Homestuck. Okay. Yeah, so let me tell you about Homestuck. Uh, what do you want to know? <laughs> I didn't even What's... ask the question yet. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't have to ask you if you like it, but what what appealed to it about you? What what's, What is good about Homestuck? 
So I do feel the need to sort of clarify that saying that I like it is actually kind of a contentious statement in itself because I okay. also hate it. All right. I do. <laughs> I hate it, but I also really love it, and it shares a immensely important space in my heart. And is I that think anybody common among Homestuck fans. Yes. All right. Yes, I think that anybody like else who would call themselves a fan probably feels similarly. Okay. In that the admiration or affection for the uh, uh, webcomic is not sort of an unconditional thing. How I came to know of it, right, um, like all great things in my life did come from my oldest sister, uh, Rebecca. Shout out to Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Um, I got into it in like, whatever, 2011, right? I guess the same year I got into Minecraft, mm -hmm. it, I guess. <laughs> I went into it with zero expectations, right? Like literally none. I didn't know a, a dang thing about Homestuck. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of the best way to go into it with no expectations, with no, you know, kind of thoughts of like where it will go or what it is. Would you not recommend a new person try to get into it or? Oh, that is that is such a loaded question. I know. Um, I watched the Sarah Zed video. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it, it's it, and really, I you know I watched the Sarah Zed video as well, and it. <laughs> I like how I watched the Sarah Zed video has become like a code phrase. For for real, if you have two and a half hours to spare and you really want to know just what the deal with Homestuck is, that <laughs> video will will fix you up. You know, that'll get you what you need to know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like, kind of as she says, Homestuck existed at a very specific place in time, right? It was very much a product of the 2010s specifically. To watch it, to read it now in 20, 2021, I, I like this glass effect a lot with the sea lanterns under. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> nice. I don't know if I... Kind of what I was thinking of, right, is I go to a lot of museums, right? Yeah. And they do this effect where, like, they'll put uh, ground lights yeah. by, like, yeah, by glass panels. No, it totally kind of works. It totally works. I like it a lot. Yeah. So actually, hold on, a little bit of build talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about this? I just kind of threw on a yellow border, and I figured if you liked it, I'll throw the... I'll, I'll, we can start in the dome. I like it. I like it. Yeah. To read Homestuck now in 2021, ah boy, yeah, that's that's a sort of rough recommendation. Um, even without sort of the time aspect to it, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's also just a lot, right? Like, it's hard, it's hard to say if it's like a good story or not. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just so long. There's so much esoteric stuff. It's so dense and convoluted. If that sort of thing speaks to you, you can really sort of get absorbed into it. That's reasonable. But if it, if it doesn't, if you want a more straightforward story, you'd probably find it pretty insufferable, right? <laughs> it goes on a lot of tangents. It introduces a lot of stuff that isn't explained for a very long time. It's long. It is so many pages and so many words. It's got like 10 hours of animation or something. Like it's it's just a lot. I mean, that's one of the cool parts though. I mean, right. it, like I, I remember when you were, you know, hyping it up to me, you know, back in the day, um, you know, the things that you showed me were, were just like the really cool animations and stuff. The fact that, you know, there, yeah. there was like, oh, well this section of the comic is a video game. <laughs> Yeah, they just made it a game for yeah. some reason, I guess. Like, yeah. yeah. And those are like the coolest parts of it. Those are, you know, those are the parts that you read dense walls of text to get to, uh -huh. you know? And if it was something that you or anybody else was interested in getting into, um, you know, Sarah Zed mentions this in her video, that a lot of the content has broke because it's based on Adobe Flash, which has now been depreciated. Um, so there is the unofficial Homestuck collection, which I did download. Um, I haven't actually run it yet, but I am kind of interested in kind of just going back and like, you know, revisiting some of it. Yeah. Um, but the unofficial Homestuck collection restores functionality to all the things that were broken, which mm -hmm. I think is something that the medium desperately needed. Yeah. So another topic of great, great importance. Uh, yes. Yes. Willow. Willow! Oh, she's right here. She's right here with us right now. And Willow um, is your cat. 
She is my cat. Yes, I should clarify. She is a, a kitty. She is a feline. Um, perfect specimen. She is so perfect. I love her. Um, my gosh, if, if you in your editing, you have to. Present oh, I'm gonna put pictures, pictures of her. In. Don't worry. Yeah, she, Don't worry. The world must know. Look at this cat. Look at this absolute girl. Look at this sweetheart. I love her with all of my being. She is so perfect. She is just an absolute queen. Um, yeah, sorry, what was the question? Oh, just just the existence of Willow. Just, you know, I just want to oh, touch upon it. <laughs> the mystery of Kitty. How could Cat be so perfect? You want to know what really gets me about cats? Yes, I would, I would specifically really like you to into... just tell me about cats. Tell me about Willow. Tell okay. me your thoughts. So here's the thing about cats, right? Is that they have evolved to be the perfect hunters, right? Mm -hmm. Everything about cat, and I, you know, Yara, I'm thinking about this now. I've probably given you this specific speech because I think about it constantly. Listen, right? that's okay. The viewers don't <laughs> okay. know yet. Sure. <laughs> the, the thing about cats is that every single part of them has evolved to be the perfect killers, right? At least at their sort of rung of the food chain, mm -hmm. you know? They have, you know, big giant eyes so that they can see in the dark, right? They have, you know, soft, soft fur to keep them quiet when they're stalking. They have sweet little toe beans, right? So that they can walk on hard surfaces without making a noise. Um, they have tails so that they can balance themselves and change their angular momentum. They have, um, gosh, they have uh, big ears, right? So they can hear keenly. And don't forget the perfect little... pink noses. They're, oh, they're perfect pink noses. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. So that they can smell, you know, little mice and birds, right? Like, cats were not made to be cute. That is not what they evolved to be. They were not put on this planet to be sweet, cute babies. They were put on this planet to hunt small, wild game such as mice, fish, birds, and rodents. <laughs> and yet. And yet. And yet. <laughs> all of those things I just said, the fur, the toe beans, the tail, the ears, the, the big eyes, make them so cute. <laughs> Every single one of those features make them like the perfect little babies. They're so sweet. You sound like a shill for cats. Did a cat like... write this? <laughs> well, so I am reading Willow. a script that Willow wrote for me. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> and she would like me to add that uh, all cats require your undying adoration and as many chicken treats as you can provide them. And they shall have it. And they sh and they will. Yep. Actually, Willow, I will only give you a dietarily appropriate amount of chicken treats. Willow, you could be the on the bird. show next time. Yes. Willow, do you want to build love... Minecraft? I would <laughs> love to see what she would build. She would just spawn a bunch of parrots and then fight them. Because <laughs> that's what she wants to do. Also, uh, just sidebar right here. You put this beautiful concrete powder uh, in your sort of upper layer here, and I am filling it to the top with water. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's reasonable, though. Go ahead. This is the thing. Willow has to be locked out of my bedroom, for she is guilty of the crime of loving too much. Oh. So I have tried. I have tried to allow her into our bedroom at night, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it just inevitably, it starts out when I go to sleep, She'll curl up at, like, my legs, mm -hmm. and it's so cute and blessed, and she just sits there, she lays there nice, she'll sleep with me, right? Like clockwork, 3 a.m. rolls around, she licks my face. Every Aww. single time, it's at, like, 3 a.m. exactly, I feel her, like, paws and fur on my face, and then she starts licking it. Aww. And it's so... Cute. It is so cute. She does it just because she loves and she wants to hang out with me. So, oh my gosh, I am getting so off track. Point is, <laughs> she has the house at night. I have the bedroom at night. Mm -hmm. And when I wake up, yeah, you know, whatever, 6.30 in the morning or whatever, and I open the door, she is right there. And the cutest, th to your question, what cute habits or behaviors does she have? Mm -hmm. What, like, 
I am dead every time this happens. Sometimes I will open the door and she is literally lying against the door, like back up against the door as close as she can possibly be to me. Oh. And I open the door and she'll just like tumble back and look up at me and like meow. You oh, know? you have some fish, right? I do have some fish. I have, um, I have two aquariums. One of them has six gold barbs, and one of them has a betta fish. Um, and then we did used to have a goldfish named Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. um, he also passed. Um, I am still not totally sure what happened there, goldfish. So, okay, I, I have some thoughts on goldfish. I don't mm -hmm. have to really get into them too much, but basically goldfish have a stereotype of having short lifespans. And they have a stereotype of living in small containers, small aquariums, right? Think, you know, the goldfish in the small, like, fishbowl, right. right? That's a common sort of icon. Both of those stereotypes are directly related. Um, fish, goldfish have short lifespans because people do not give them proper care. Yes. Um, right. So goldfish actually need upwards of, like, a 20-gallon tank, right? Uh, there's the saying that a goldfish will grow to the size of its container. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Uh, they will not, if you put them in a small container, they will stop growing. Their body will stop growing, but their organs will continue to grow. And that is why they will die very quickly. Mm. Um, so, point is, a goldfish in a suitably sized container with filtration, heating, um, aeration can live for like a decade. Uh, How big is an elder uh, guardian? Ooh, uh, um, actually, that big. actually, hey, hey, yeah, oh, cool. actually though, like two guardians, not not many, like no no more than that. No, that's perfect. Oh, I'm loving salmon this. Salmon in here. Yeah, I oh I am, I am very oh, into this. See, we got, uh, I got two dolphins. I think that's probably enough. I think this elder guardian is like stuck in the coral. He might have to go. I understand. But I mean, also, like, let him. I mean, he's, like, clipping out the side of the bill. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. He's a little much. What are your top three favorite video games? Top three favorite video games. Minecraft. For sure. All right. Um, That's, like, number one. Reasonable. Um, well, okay. Th the top three in no particular order. Minecraft, Persona 5. And and only because I haven't played Persona Four. Okay. <laughs> um, what would be the third one? Ooh, this looks um, sweet. I love the purple. I think I like the purple. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Really good. Um, yeah, my partner Chandler. She played uh, Breath of the Wild like because she got the Switch right at launch. Mm -hmm. Um, I did not. Um. So I remember, like, that summer, just um, watching her play Breath of the Wild while I played Stardew Valley. Ooh, Stardew Valley is a good one. That's a very good one. I don't, you know what? It's tricky because I don't necessarily have, like, a favorite game. Mm -hmm. But I have games that I really, really like. Sure. You know? But yeah, that's why, that's why I did a top three rather than, like... Be like, oh, pick your favorite game. It's too much pressure for anyone. What what you're forgetting is I'm horribly indecisive. <laughs> so even a top three is too much pressure for me. <laughs> Are there any other like little accoutrements we can maybe add to, to yaz this up a little I'm bit? Thinking. Oh, you know what? Fence gates. When in doubt, fence gates. Fence gates. gates. Fence oh, gates. Yep, yep, yep. Right up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's our time. Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I can't hear you because it's uh. Okay, sorry. It muted you. I muted all the sounds. That, that's that's oh our gosh. time. But it's actually perfect because like we we basically we basically just finished, right? Just about. I think we're good. I think I've taken honestly. Like I don't want to be bold here, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I, I I think this is perfect. Actually. <laughs> no, it's perfect. I like it. No, no comments. No notes. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna sort of wipe my hands here, and I'm I'm done. You know what? Did something happen to our dolphin? Oh, where'd they go? 
Huh. You know, wait a second. Hey. Do they need they need air probably? They need air, don't they? <laughs> Hundred uh -oh. percent. We just um, killed. We just drowned the dolphins. I thought I heard something we... dying, but I thought it was, I don't know. I thought it was like one of the guardians getting hurt or something. Well, we, we killed the dolphin. Definitely, dolphins. definitely just committed a wildlife conservation well, uh, violation. So sorry, dolphins. All right, I guess we won't have dolphins in here. I guess we won't have dolphins in here. Okay, well, but other than the dead dolphins, this has been yes. a fantastic build. Thank you so much again yeah, for coming on the is, show. Um, Thank you for having me. I think this went very well. Um, I I think this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> What's going on? Kill it! I got it. This is your last trial. I like that you found a diamond sword, even though we're in creative and you could have another, right? Oh, sh I didn't even think about that. <laughs> as um as you already know, but I'll tell the viewers um you will have access to this world for the entire uh, rest of the time that it exists. Um, so you can come back. And if you ever feel like, oh, you know, what if I had added some windows in there? What if I had added this? You can come back and you can change anything that you want in your own build. You know, if someone builds next to you and you want to, like, put some landscaping between, you can do whatever you want. You're welcome here. And uh, the last thing we have to do is you got to come up here and you have to add a secret theme to the barrel oh for someone gosh, else. I, I had completely forgotten about the secret theme. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting in my theme right now. Fantastic. All right, so now, goes. yeah, along with the ones that I added in there, there'll now be a constantly cycling thing with every uh, every new guest will have, will add a, a new theme. Yeah, thank you. Yara, oh yeah? The theme is Homestuck and I'm very sorry about that. No, it's not, <laughs> it's not. I mean, I, try, I, tried, I tried to beat you up, but I can't because we're in creative. Yes, I can't yeah, hit I'm you with this gate. Oh my gosh, can you not hit people in creative? Oh my gosh. Make you kill another guardian. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I guess that's the end, that's of, the end of the show. <laughs> but everyone, I would like to thank you all so much for joining in with our first episode of City Limits. Uh, we had a great time building this aquarium and I hope you'll tune in for the next one uh, where we have a new guest and we build a new build. Have a good one, everybody. Bye, take care. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they belong in the aquarium, not out here. <laughs>